Welcome to the Zebra BI July update. Summer is here, so I'll keep this short and sweet this time. We've got a new product update. Zebra BI cards and Zebra BI charts visual are both receiving a great new update. And next, we've got a new template. This time it's about working capital. So stay with me and Neja, over to you. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the development corner. As usual, a lot is going on behind the scenes and as promised, today I'm going to tell you more about our upcoming releases of Cards 1.3 and Charts 6.0. Let's dive right in. In the Cards 1.3 update, we're bringing in a few report design related updates. The first is uniform layout. In Zebra BI Cards, we have started with a free layout where each card could be customized separately, which made the whole visual super flexible. Now we're introducing a uniform layout where it's much easier to prepare a design if you wish to have cards of the same size. We've also added a neat tooltip to help you select the exact card size. And now to the long-awaited color options. From the 1.3 release onwards, you will be able to set global and individual card background colors and also global border colors. Here, you can change the global background color. And here, you can set the border color. For individual background color, you switch to the focus mode and select it there. This enables you to create corporate branded reports with customized backgrounds and border colors, the dark themed report, and by using the single color background, you can also highlight individual cards. And now let's switch to the Charts 6.0 updates. In the Charts visual, we've been preparing the so-called foundations for the further improvements in the Charts legend. What you can do now is open a drop-down directly on the visual and rename the legend entry. In the near future, we will add more settings to this area as well. Additionally, we've updated the data model that is running in the background of the Zebra BI charts to matrix view. This change has enabled us to relaunch the 2D small multiples. Small multiples are one of the most distinguishing Zebra BI features. Let's create one. We add quarter, sales, previous year, and category. These are now the three small multiples. If I now add an additional measure, a segment, I get a two-dimensional matrix of perfectly scaled small multiples. That's it. Let us know which one of these features you like the most and stay tuned, we've got a lot more coming up. We're really happy that our templates are well received by the community. So in this month, we have decided to add a new template for working capital. The template follows our familiar report design moving from overview to more details. That means that you can immediately see your main KPIs such as liabilities, assets, uh, ratios and their developments and then move into more details uh, such as payment habits, trends and uh, geographical breakdowns with the drill through. This of course is just a template, so go ahead. Add your own drill through and detailed pages, apply your company styles through the JSON team, and if you so wish, share the reports with us. Let's see what impressed your coworkers. So again, please visit our webpage, download the template, and input your own data to measure your company's financial strength with an actionable report. Wow, great updates. Uh, read all about it in the full article. Um, I guess it's back to work for us. <laughs> Enjoy your vacation, guys, and see you at the next update.